Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a fun acoustic song for you today. We're going to know how to play Ants Marching by Dave Matthews Band. Uh, so uh, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring the little notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And uh, check out my Guitar Academy, please, at GuitarLessons365.com. It's the GL365 Academy. Uh, we've got thousands of people have really uh, already joined and um, we got a great community over there and we have uh, to all my guitar courses on improvisation, complete beginner course, guitar tone, ear training, theory, technique. Um, it's got a lot of cool systematic guitar courses there, so please go check it out. The link is in the description. All right, so we are in standard tuning here, um, and got this same kind of riff that repeats for most of the song. <laughs> So that's going to start with a D major chord, then you kill it, and then what you're going to do is going to slide from 4 to 5 on the A string, and then you can hold that and then play 4 on the D. So we have this, and then you do that lick again, so we have then play an open D string, so we have this. Now we basically do the G version of it, which we play a G chord. Now this is the G chord that has an open B string. So however way you want to play it, you like playing it like this, or like this, or Dave Matthews actually plays it like this some. Um, so we have like, play that chord, kill it, kill the strings, mute the strings. And then what we're going to do, similar to what we did before, this time we're going to slide with our index finger from 4 to 5 on the A string, and then play the 5th fret there on the D string. So we have... And then you play the open G. And then you repeat everything. G. Now at the 1 minute and 10 second mark, we have this chord sequence, which it just does once at this point in the song, but later on in the song, it makes he repeats it as the chorus of the song. It looks like this. So it's just a B minor to a D major chord. So the B minor, if you don't know that, it's a full bar at the 2nd fret, or at least across 5 strings. Then you're going to play the 3rd fret of the B, 4th fret of the G, and 4th fret of the D. That goes to a D major chord. And then from there we go to a, that same G major. So we have this. So you notice how the D and the G happen on the upbeat. So we have this. And then we're going to play that B minor chord again to an A major. You could, you could just play with an open A and then bar across the second fret of the D, G, and uh, the B. So that's kind of one, two, one, two, a little bit more aggressive rhythm. So we have this. And then it goes back to that main rhythm. Now, to get back to these same chords we just did. At the 1 minute and 35 second mark, we have the chorus, which just repeats these chords three times. So it goes... It's kind of hard to sing over that a little bit, um, especially since I haven't practiced it. But So it's the same chorus, just repeated three, three times. So back 
to that riff. Now at the um, um, two minute and 14 second mark, we just kind of have like a little variation on the verse riff that we're doing there. And it looks like this. And then, so it's just basically little pauses there. So we had the D chord, you pause, and you don't do the little, you don't do the little fill after the D chord. You just go pause, and then you go to the G, and then you do do the fill. All right, then we go back to the D, pause without the fill, and then to the G chord without the fill. All right, so what we do from there at the two minute and 22 second mark, the bridge of the song looks like this. So what that is, a little bit interesting chord forms here. What he's going to be doing, playing the fourth fret there on the G, and then letting the B and the high E ring with it. All right, now down below, you're going to have, you're going to let this go the entire time, by the way, through all three chords. So you're going to have now third fret on the low E string, the uh, second fret there on the A string, and then the open D. So the first chord is that... The next chord is going to play the F sharp on the low E string. Now here you can mute the A and the D string with the uh, just the bottom of the index finger, but you're just really playing that bass note, the F sharp. And then we go to the E in the bass while you're be barring the second fret of the A and the D together. G and, and the open B and E ring. And then we're back to the main riff. To the, uh, from the riff to the same chorus. All right, so what we're going to do is a kind of extended violin solo at the end of the track. And at the three minute and 22 second mark, the rhythm kind of changes underneath it. Um, we get this really kind of hoedown feel going. <laughs> so let me play that section for you real quick. So it looks like this. So that's just that D to the G, just muting each one each time. Do that four times, just between D and G. D, four. So it's just basically that without the, no fills. And then after this, we basically play the same thing as the bridge again, four times. variation 
variation here. This happens at the three minute and 55 second mark. So after you played that bridge uh, progression four times, you're now gonna go up to here and So you're gonna play it. So we're playing the fifth fret on the low E, third fret on the um, A string, mute the D. Then you play the fifth fret there on the uh, on the G string, and then open B and E again. Uh, you might you don't have to hit the open strings if you don't want to the top two, but you. You do that, and then you get back down to that same first chord in the bridge, that G chord. So we have this to a D major chord. So at the three minute fifty five second mark, and then through the chorus chords once. Back to the rhythm. It just kind of does this to the end of the track and then ends on a D chord there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's got a lot of repetitive riffs, but it's got some interesting chord forms in it. Um, but it's really fun to play as soon as you get it underneath your fingers, and there's not that many parts to it, so hopefully it won't take you too long. All right, I'll hope to see you again here at guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.